Hello everybody I am Kabir Singh and I welcome you all to an academy I'll just tell you something about myself so that you know who I am and what am I here for I'm an avid coder and I am a founder at Jigsaw Minds I've mentored approximately 20000 plus students on YouTube live and approximately 1000 plus students on Google Meets and Microsoft Teams by personal mentoring I've also taken 50 plus batches of 50 students each on Google Meet for making knowledge accessible in remote areas too and I have an approximate uh, teaching experience of more than one year or you can exactly call it one year now I'll tell you what I'm here for because I obviously want you to know what I'm going to teach so the subjects that I'm going to take on an academy are java fundamentals obviously so fundamentals basically means from basic that is beginners to intermediate level then i'll teach you c++ again fundamentals from beginners to intermediate level then i'll be teaching you data structures and algorithms which is the next step after intermediate because obviously once you're learning programming you want to go from one step to another then to another and you just want to keep uh, you know climbing the ladder on then after we are done with coding i'll also teach you some development teaching you flutter and dart now you might be seeing a yellow thing with kabir written on it i'll tell you what it is about so basically kabir is a code which you can use to get extra 10% off on your an academy plus subscription what is an academy plus subscription it is a subscription to our platform which gives you india's best programmers interactive live classes because obviously you know recorded lectures are pretty boring you can ask doubts you can't solve your queries and you have to wait for doubt support to come up to you so you can directly ask doubts in the live section and we'll be able to solve it in seconds or minutes and then we also have extra doubt support with teacher assistance that will help you to get your doubts solved which were not solved in the live class which happens pretty less also we'll be able to do practice problems from codechef that is a very very good platform for coding and has tons and tons of good questions so again use the kabir code and get 10% off on your an academy plus subscription now i'll tell you some courses which are coming up live and you'll be able to access them from the 6th of july so the first course is mahayodha which is a two months course for advanced programming techniques it's for two months and it'll be live on the 6th of july the next course which you'll be having is eklave 2.0 which is again coming live on the 6th of july which will be on java and it will be a 8 month course for java programming then you'll have a brahmastra course which is brahmastra 2.0 it is an exclusive 5 month course which will be coming live on the 6th of july and you'll be able to learn uh, you know you'll be able to track a path for your college and off campus placements so yeah This is a channel where you're going to get everything and anything about coding so hit the like button hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you know when I'm live and I'm able to teach you the best programming techniques let's come up to what I am going to teach you and what I am here for okay so ready for an introduction I'll tell you what I'm going to teach I am going to be teaching you fundamentals of java which is a beginners course that I'll be taking from the scratch so basically you don't need any prior knowledge other than your basic mathematics that everybody learned in their 10th and 11th and 12th and maybe if you didn't have 10th 11th 12th mathematics you'll be still able to cope up with my course so basically i'll teach you what java is how to code in java and all those things which need to be taught to a beginner student who doesn't know anything about coding so yeah you're on the right platform i'm going to teach you everything about java how to code how to print how to take inputs add subtract etc etc everything now i'll tell you basically what contents i'm going to teach in the entire course and i'll just make you go through through every topic which i have planned for you so i have planned total of 10 topics and the 10 topics will be as follows okay so what are the course contents that i'll be taking up for you they are as follows so basically i'll first take your introduction in which i'll introduce you to java i'll tell you what java is what it helps to do and all that and plus i'll get your installation and setup done so that you can easily code into java the next step once we're done doing the introduction i'll take you to basics of java and i'll teach you how to print statements how to take inputs from users how to add things how to subtract numbers multiplications print a series of something or something like that you know just printing and um, basically taking inputs and 
just solving all those questions some good patterns like fibonacci series or something like that then i'll take you after i'm done teaching you the basics you know a good knowledge about basics now i'll make you take decisions on the basic statements so what i'll do i'll teach you decision making statements including if if else nested if etc etc that will be involved using your basic knowledge and a new knowledge so once i'm done teaching you the decision making thing i'll take you to implementation of the decision making statements that has the best part in coding which is the coding pattern programs so basically we'll be having a fun session coding some good good programs making some beautiful pro uh, patterns with numbers stars alphabets alphanumerics etc etc once we are done doing that i'll take you to operators in java that includes arithmetic operator logical operator boolean operator and etc etc so basically logical operator arithmetic operator like your addition subtraction multiplication modulus etc etc will be involved when i'll be teaching you the operators once i'm done teaching you the operators we'll be halfway through the course and i'll be taking a small test on a live stream solving some good questions two to three good questions and i'll give you those questions once you solve them it's good if you can't i'll solve your doubts right away so half course done i'll take a beautiful test and then we'll be good to go to the next step so the next half will be starting from the iterative statements that are called the loops which involve for loop while loop and etc etc so once you're done doing the loops you know basic knowledge about the program you know the iterative statements decision making statements you can code patterns you know the operators so you are really good to go with coding in java now what you want to do is do some functions in java because functions are a very important part of programming so you will be doing two types of functions one is the predefined functions that are defined by the java programmers who actually built the language so once you're done studying the java programmers Uh, functions that are predefined i'll make you code your own functions so yeah you will be able to code your own functions that do jobs according to you not according to the predefined thing so you will be able to use your knowledge and your creativity to create some new functions also after you're done doing this you'll be done with the beginners level yeah you'll be done with the beginners level with the seventh lecture once you're done doing the beginners level i'll take you to an intermediate level of data structures so data structures basically are a very important topic in programming because they help you you know basically clear good interviews because in interviews when you sit for programming they ask for data structures and algorithms you should have a very good hand in this so this course will give you a knowledge about data structures and algorithms and later i'll be taking a data structures algorithm course also so i'll give you a small introduction about structured data types that are array lists in uh java where we'll be stuffing some elements in a list and you know playing with those elements a bit once we're done doing this i'll take you to the next step for uh array list that is sorting and searching in arrays where we'll be sorting those list which we have stored elements in and we'll also search some elements that we stored so it'll be some fun sessions again and in the end i'm going to make a multi-dimensional array lecture for you guys where we'll be teaching you what to do with those arrays including two dimensional arrays so basically this entire course will give you a beautiful uh, knowledge about uh, programming and it will give you a very good you know go through through the language so you'll be very uh, efficient in coding in java after that so once you're doing this you are really good to go as a programmer the last thing which i would tell you to do is just hit the like button hit the subscribe button for the channel because it's actually very important to hit the bell icon because once i come live you'll get a notification on your phones and you'll be coming to you know see my lectures so yeah i'll be able to teach you properly i'll be able to just deliver my lectures to all of you so yeah come to my sessions just hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon and ask your doubts randomly i'll be solving every doubt in the live chat so yeah i'll be happy to solve all your doubts teach you the new languages and we'll be good to go thank you so much for looking at the video if you liked it hit the like button thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video